Hare Krishna devotees. Welcome to Shloka Day. Today's Shloka is Shloka number 26 of chapter 8. Shukla Krishna Gati Hete. Shukla Krishna Gati Hete. Jagata Shashvate Mate. Jagata Shashvate Mate. Ekaya Yatyana Vrittin. Ekaya Yatyana Vrittin. Anyaya Varta Te Punaha. Anyaya Varta Te Punaha. But for meaning, translation, and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Shukla. Shukla. Light. Light. Krishne. Krishne. And darkness. And darkness. Gati. Gati. Ways of passing. Ways of passing. Ki. Ki. Certainly. Certainly. Ete. Ete. These two. These two. Jagataha. Jagataha of the material world of the material world Shashvate Shashvate of the Vedas of the Vedas Mate Mate in the opinion in the opinion Ekaya Ekaya by one by one Yati Yati goes goes Anavrittim Anavrittim. To no return. To no return. Anyaya. Anyaya. By the other. By the other. Avartate. Avartate. Comes back. Comes back. Punaha. Punaha. Again. Again. Translation. According to Vedic opinion. According to Vedic opinion. There are two ways of passing from this world. There are two ways of passing from this world. One in light. One in light. And one in darkness. And one in darkness. When one passes in light. When one passes in light. He does not come back. He does not come back. But when one passes in darkness. But when one passes in darkness. He returns. He returns. So here <clears throat> the Lord is just summarizing and contrasting the two different paths that yogis can take. If they time it perfectly, they can go to the Brahma Jyoti. If they don't time it carefully, then they will have to return. So they may go to the moon planets and then they have to come back to the earth planet once their credits are exhausted. So Krishna is saying, this is actually mentioned in the Vedic scriptures. There are two different ways of passing for the yogis. So when one passes in light, <clears throat> essentially the Uttarayan, he does not come back. When one passes in darkness, he returns. But within Uttarayan and Dakshinayan also, there are criteria that has to be met. It's not just if one, six months out of the year, anytime you pass during those six months, you get to the spiritual world. That's not true. Even within those six months, there are multiple other criteria that has to be met. So this shloka is actually a little complicated to understand. It is meant essentially for the yogis. But <clears throat> thankfully for us, we don't have to worry about this path. As Prabhupada repeatedly says, as devotees, we don't care when we pass away. We leave it to Krishna to handle us along that path. So <clears throat> essentially this shloka is summarizing different deaths give you different results for the yogi. So Prabhupada mentions in the purport that Acharya Baladev Vidya Bhushan is actually citing a shloka that describes the technicalities of this passing away in the light, passing away in the darkness, in the, in the Chandogya Upanishad. <clears throat> Those who are fruit of laborers, Prabhupada says, and philosophical speculators from time immemorial are constantly going and coming, which means as long as you have material desires, you're going to constantly go and come back, go and come back, 
into the material cosmos. Similarly, for those who speculate, um, you know, it could be this, it could be that. Speculate means they are constantly thinking, maybe it is this or maybe it is that. So they also don't have the blessing of going back to the spiritual world. So that means <laughs> faith is a necessity if you want to go back to the spiritual world. And surrender is also a necessity if you want to go back to Golok Vrindavan. So until you surrender, Prabhupada writes, you cannot get salvation. So even the salvation of Brahma Jyotir is considered to be temporary because there is no service there for you to perform. You are just part of that white light that's coming from Krishna's body. And Prabhupada says, since Jivatmas, your constitutional duty is to serve. For example, if salt is salty and sugar is sweet, the Jivatma is always meant to serve. That cannot be separated from him. So if you artificially try to merge into the Brahma Jyoti, at some point you're going to get tired of it. And you're going to think, what well, this, this is not life. Okay, initially it may feel very nice because there is no more birth and death. But at the same time, because the Jivatma likes variety, just like the Lord likes variety, the Jivatma has to serve. Therefore, even that person, that soul that goes to the Brahma Jyoti is risking it all because just a little bit of memories of service and you're back in the earthly planet. So after very working very, very hard to get to the Brahma Jyoti, if you get tempted there, then guess what? You have to come back. So <clears throat> salvation is also not guaranteed for those who go into the Brahma Jyoti. That is why Krishna says, once you come back to my abode, you never have to return. So that means Krishna's abode is the ultimate destination for us. There's no other question beyond this. There's no, nothing to argue here. Krishna's abode is the ultimate destination for us. So in summary, there are two paths of leaving this world. Ekaya yatyana vrittam. Either this or that. If it is this, you go back. If it is that, you'll come back. So the whole point of these verses is that there are a lot of precise factors that have to be taken care of in order to attain success in the spiritual journey for a yogi. And if one doesn't take care of all of these sub-criteria, then you risk not achieving what you desired. So you can think, although Arjuna is not asking this question, but you can think that Arjuna may ask, you know, how will I take care of all of these various factors? That too at the time of death, which is supposed to be very painful. Your consciousness is not going to be as uh, lucid as it should be when you're on the deathbed. So the next two shlokas, shlokas 27 and 28, Krishna is going to reiterate that none of this applies to his devotees. So we can rest assured that if Krishna says we need not fear all of this, then we can um, stop fearing death itself because Krishna is always going to be there with us. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you'd like to join our classes every day, please check the details in the description section of this video. We look forward to serving you.